Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Sonic Mania. Now that we're in the press garden, let's get started and see what we can do. We have these platforms that are moving and also are, are bouncy, I guess, in a way. They're not easy to bounce on, but they are things you can bounce on. I don't know how to get the stuff inside of these boxes, but it's fine. We don't need them. So let's go down this way. Be very careful of these guys there. And I believe if we go over this way now, which can be a little bit difficult because we need to bounce in the right direction to get up onto that ledge, which it doesn't really want you to do, but we want to, so. Come on, nope. It's just bouncing me all over the place, come on. These, and then bounce, nope. Oh, so close, so close. So close. There we go. And there's a special ring up here. So let's catch this UFO if I can, maybe. I still want to be careful not to get all the Chaos Emeralds on the first run though. This is practice. This is, this is a practice run. Okay. Building up speed. Oh, very careful of those. Okay, speed, 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 speed. Okay. <laughs> if I fail at these enough, I won't have to come back later. I mean, I will still have to come back later, but I won't have to try to fail. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Good. Got 30 seconds now. This is an interesting turn right here that you probably want to jump over. Oh, come on. Come on. Also, once you get to a faster speed, you have to skip some of these jumps, basically. Otherwise, you'll be all over the place. Okay, we've got Mach 3. And I missed that ring thing, so I'm going to have to get that on my next pass. Otherwise, I'm probably going to be in trouble. Oh, there's also this one here that I want to get. I'm just going to take the slow off the edge bit just so I stay in. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. We've almost caught up to the UFO, we just need to do a little bit more precise turnings. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, I need to get this now. Okay. No! Well, that's a shame. I was doing so well as well. <sighs> if I had made that jump, though, I'd probably have got it. Well, we've still got time, so... And I do need to fail the next one if I get this next Chaos Emerald. Anyway, back to Press Garden. Now that we're out of that, we can actually go up the way it wants us to. If we can, please. Thank you. Let's keep looking around. Oh, those ink bunny things. I don't know what they are. I just know that they have like their ink stamps or something. I love the the the, the print in the background. Really? Okay. Let's bounce up here and break this by standing on it. And let's see if we can get up this. These platforms do go away after a few seconds. You have to be a little bit careful. There's a lot of this area that I've never been to before because I can't figure out how. Although it probably has something to do with not going down immediately. In the first area where we went down for the, uh, the special ring. Anyway, let's just go into this bouncer. Let's... If we stand on that, we actually get into this crusher thing, which activates. We need to get out of that quickly, otherwise we're going to get crushed. Now, I could be wrong, but I feel like there's going to be something else up here that we can get. One up. I don't think we can do much else there, so let's just dash through that. Ooh, careful, 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 careful. Let's see if we can build up a lot of speed and then go up here. 
this is the way that I usually go, just because it's easier, I guess. I find it easier, at least. Okay, we need to stand on that, so we activate that. Another crusher. I don't think there's any secrets up there that we can get to. Especially not once it's crushed everything. Since we can't even get up there now. But we can go down here and there's a bounce to get out again. If we need to. But anyway, let's go... Onward. Okay, and there's... Only one way to go here, which is up. So let's do that. And let's go all over the place. I'm gonna just leave those ring boxes, apparently. They're fairly difficult to get to. But anyway, is there anything else over here? There is this bouncer thing here to make us go all over the place, apparently. Gonna go up here. I feel like there's something... There's probably another special ring if I went down here, but I don't really want to do that. So there's just this petal pile here that does nothing, I think. Maybe there is something here that I just don't know about. Oh well. Let's see if I can bounce up into this thing there. We'll have tails do it. Apparently not, though. That makes those platforms appear. Come on, get up there. I think if you just hold down the jump button, you can actually jump. You bounce higher off of things. Grab that ring box thing. That special ring box. And now our ring counter is blue, and I believe now if we get hit by something, we will drop them in tens. So it makes it easier to pick up more after we get hit by something. Oh boy. These turning platforms are weird, but I can manage. So let's just do that. And I feel like up again is probably a good plan. Oh, here we go. Speed. Speed. so fast. Okay, oh, I went down. That's not the way I usually go, but that's fine. Oh, it actually just puts us back in the loop if we do that. Okay. Well, then I should be fine to just go up here. And let's go to the boss. So we've got this boss here that will break the crates around here. And I believe these... The, the different colored ones... Make it break its glass... Saws. I think they're glass. But we need to be careful that it doesn't hit us with its saws. And then we can just beat it up like that. So there we go. Wherever the boss dies is also where the goal post thing appears or drops down from. This is also a good spot to just juggle this, this goal post as well. <clears throat> what just happened? Did we get a one-up from something? I didn't think that could happen. But anyway, press Garden Zone 2, which is a very cool, like, change in, like, feel, and I like it. But anyway, let's head around wherever we can. I'm gonna go my usual way, maybe. I feel like I've already gone off my normal way, though. This guy on the wall is actually making these platforms over here that we can take. Yeah, I've not been this way before. Maybe you should go back, because I know where a, a... A special ring is. So let's go get that. In this level, we turn into ice cubes, or get put into ice cubes. With lots of enemies and... Oh my goodness. Um, ice blowers. But there's also a lot of ice blocks around the place. Okay, I feel like this is fine, being down here, maybe. Just need to go the right way if I can. I think I need to go up, probably. Actually, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a lot of the ice blocks around that we can also break by jumping onto them. If we want to. 
Go, 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 go. You can also break out of the ice if you specifically want to. Okay, this is where we need to be. This goalpost is a good sign. So we want to break this box here and then bounce up here. And then we want to go over to the left, through the wall, and onto this ice bouncer, which breaks into the special ring. Okay, let's see if I can do it this time. I don't know how many attempts I've had on this one. But it's been a few, so... Grab all of these. That is such a scary spot there. With those spike balls. Okay, Mach 2. Gonna grab that now. Just so I don't have to get it later. Gonna grab these. Okay. Let's see if we can get to Mach 3. I'll be very careful there. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're very good. Oh, that was close again. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit scary on these jumps, considering they push you forward, but don't actually change the direction that you're aiming. Okay, we've got Mach 3. Let's grab that, and let's go... See if we can catch up to this UFO. Careful with that jump there. Okay, good. Get out of the thing. I think we can do it. Come on. It's so close now. Just be careful. Oh my goodness, be careful. Come on, it's so close now. And there we go. Okay, there's just one more to go, which we're gonna skip for now. But I'll probably still show where some... special rings are. Even if I go into them and just zone out. Or... whatever it is. In there. But there we go. We're doing really well for a first run. Considering on my first run through... I got maybe two. I love just sliding all over the place at full speed. Can't go over to the left because it's blocked off by ice, which we can't break from the side. So we have to go find ourselves a way to turn to a block of ice so we can do something about that. Also, these woodpecker guys are annoying because they... they shake the tree and it makes bombs fall down around you and I believe if we go over here this is where we turn to ice and we can just bounce all around the place and break everything so there we go now we need to break out of the ice why does this look different this is this is this looks different I can probably break this somehow right yes partly that might be all I can break off of it because I need to be able to jump over here. Let's go. I think I just saw another special ring up there that I've never got before, possibly. It was a bit... It went by very quickly, so I don't really know entirely. But anyway, let's go up from here. And whenever we stand on one of these logs, it gets ground, 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 grounded, grinded up in the wood chipper thing. So we need to jump over that before we get chipped. Okay. Oh, I got iced. I'm fine. Got an extra wall life. And let's go to the boss. Another one of the special Eggman robots. We need to hit him in midair. Well, while he's in midair, that is. To throw him off balance. And then we need to jump into him. He's also dropping these star things that break off into projectiles that you need to dodge. And whenever you get close to him, whenever he's on the ground, he'll put you in a block of ice. So you need to be careful about that as well. Please get the rings. I died. Cool. Ah, <sighs> Luckily, there's always a checkpoint, usually just before a boss, which has some rings right in front of it. So we're good. 
Why did you go that way? Come on. Also, if Tails could be doing some attacks on the boss, that would also be good. I'm just gonna wait. You can also see which directions the projectiles are going based on the shape of the star and its rotation. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. You can do it. Maybe. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Got him. Oh my goodness, my rings. They're all gone. Okay, I need to be very careful now. Very careful. Ooh, careful! Except I got bounced right into it. This is why we build up lives as much as possible by collecting rings. For the one, the one thing that you have trouble on, that you need lives for. Okay, that was a good first thing. Oh my goodness, there goes my rings! Okay, sometimes it's good to be in the ice because you can't get hit by things, I don't think. I could be wrong about that. Okay, yeah. I think. Okay. Also, like this this song is good stuff. Okay, so the, the the projectiles and star things actually do break you out of your ice, which is something to key and consider. Because if you get broken out, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh my goodness, that was close. And this should be the last hit, maybe? Oh, come on. Yes, thank you, Tails. There we go. Let's release the animals. And here we are in Stardust Speedway. I don't know if this is a reused area or not. <sighs> Probably not though, if I had to guess. But anyway, I like this area because you get to run around a lot. Except it's uh, confusing in some places, so I'm gonna get lost. Just forewarning. So let's go. I really like the theme though, and the music is really good. All these guys are annoying because they, they, they be in spin balls like you, which makes it really difficult for you to not get hit by things. They have to not be in their spin to, so you can get them. Okay, let's hold. You have to hold the into to the direction that you want to go in these areas here, which can be a little bit difficult, especially when you're going fast. So let's break that. Make some plants sprout. Oh my goodness, why did that hit me? But anyway, we can break those things to make leaf platforms appear all over the place. Oh, careful of that thing. Need to avoid that thing there. I'm gonna go this way, I think. Maybe? Maybe I'll go back. Hang on. I don't remember if I found a special ring in this zone before, so I'm gonna try and find one. So I think... Can I stand on you? No, I can't. Okay. I thought that you might be a platform if you're careful. But no, it's just an enemy. Full speed. Okay. These are like the DK barrels in Donkey Kong. Or just the barrels. Sorry, we need to actually press the jump button whenever we want to get shot out. Into another one. Oh, I'm up here now. And now I'm down here. So let's keep going. It's basically how this works. Is if you get... If you go to the wrong spot, you just have to go. Just keep going to the right of the screen, basically. Or just follow the path that you can go. I don't think I've been in this part of the level before, though. Which is throwing me off. I'm probably fine, though, as long as I actually stop dropping all my rings. Also, we have enemies that just follow us around, trying to make lasers, I guess, around us. Oh, be very careful with that spiky ball. Where am I going? I don't know. I'm just going there fast, is what I know. I 
Um, let's go down here and spin to that. Let's see what we can do over this way. Oh, careful of that. And I think if I go over here, I can get these two things. Getting speed shoes. So let's get hit by the first thing possible. Let's go fast, I guess. I don't know if it's better to be... Oh, I don't know if there's any better areas to be fast in, though. Oh my goodness, I'm doing so bad. Getting hit by everything. You can stand on top of the edge of spikes, but you can't stand on top of spikes directly. That was kind of a waste of speed shoes. But oh well. Oh, got him. <laughs> I got him. Cool. Now, let's go up this way. Careful. You have to be careful when it spawns in a trap, basically. Let's go. Let's go in a Sonic game? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Just need to hold in the direction we want to go. And we're at the end of the level already. We have to fight a giant one of these things now. And it only reappears again after we get through a few phases of the small ones. Just need to dodge their attacks. And then... It's just gonna reappear. And we need to probably get behind it because it's got a giant laser beam. Which I'm still getting hit by anyway. Cool. Got him. Okay. Oh, I didn't even get them. I don't think I actually need to take them out. I think they just are distractions or things you need to dodge. That's the thing. Okay. We're doing all right, but we could be doing a lot better right now. I've taken far too many hits and I've got one ring left. A one ring circus. Okay. Let's see if we can actually take it out now. Please, thank you. There we go. Got through Act 1. And now it's time for Act 2. And now we've walked to the future of Spe Starter Speedway, which looks very different, but it's very similar in a lot of ways, so... Oh, I missed that, but that's okay. Let's go this way, maybe? I don't know where I'm going. I always get lost at the very beginning of this, so... I apologize for me getting lost. <laughs> um... I don't know where I'm going. It's fine. Oh, this enemy again. It's fine. It's so fine. Really? I don't like how small the screen can be. Like, you can't see what's coming up in front of you, which is a problem when you need to go this fast. Through levels. Basically. But anyway, let's take this rocket, which we can also control a little bit. Which allows us to get a few things. But let's keep going. I probably could find our... I could probably find a special ring if I was actually looking properly. Let's go this way and see if I can... Never mind, we're going this way now. Just need to make sure I jump over everything and go at full speed. Another rocket. Okay, we're up here now. I really don't like these spiky things that come out of there. Whatever those are. I'm fine. We're going all over the place right now. Okay, where am I? Everything's fine. Just need to launch myself straight up. That kind of works. Cool. I have never seen this part of the level before, I don't think. That's a good sign. Let's bounce off of this red. 
to go all over the place. Oh, very careful. I'm up here now, okay. And now I'm up here, ow, everything's fine. Let's go through this hole. I have no idea where I am. But I think I'm getting close to the end. Apparently. Got a projector here of a uh, Metal Sonic attacking animals, which we can break. And we free the animals. We did it. But then actual Metal Sonic appears. Another great song and a really cool background effect. I really like this kind of background effect in video games. But we need to be very careful now as we run along here because Metal Sonic's gonna try and attack us as we go. And it's quite difficult to dodge, especially when you can't see him. But basically just jump a lot and you should be able to dodge him, maybe. Also listening is very important, so you can actually hear when he's about to do something. Ow. But just try to get to the end of this area as quickly as possible so you can actually attack him. Okay, here we go. He's gonna spawn a... a thing for us to fight, which we want to actually spin into and bounce into him. And just keep spawning them as much as he needs them. Okay. Come on. Okay, he's launching towards us. Spin, please. Nope. Oh, careful. He's got second attacks as well. Come on, spin. Nope. Oh, don't hit me. Get you. No, okay. It just bounces all over the place, but apparently that hit him. Cool. It's not over yet, though. So let's keep running. Except I'm doing a really bad job of that right now. And let's go up all the way up here. Where Eggman gives Metal Sonic the magic crystal thing. And takes a bigger form. So now we need to hit Metal Sonic in the crystal spot. And be very careful. Gonna throw bombs at us. We need to dodge. But if we can turn around, which is a little bit difficult on the screen, and then dash into him, we can do a do some good damage to him. Just need to be careful of his hand as well, though. He's also got a death laser to jump over. Just in case you weren't aware, please. Oh, and don't fall off the edge as well, because he's destroying the ground behind us. But there we go. There's the crystal. But it gets bounced off the screen, so we can't actually get it. Even if we tried to collect it, we couldn't get it. But there we go. Going through time again, we go to Hydro City. From Sonic 3. So we'll have to go through this next time. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all then.